Hey, it's TimeScark11 for more of my LEGO Pokemon collection. Here is Passimian, Oranguru, and the Golisopod lines. So if you want to see how to build these, then you can search for the tutorials that were already done on them years ago. So search for how to make LEGO Pokemon Passimian, how to make LEGO Pokemon Oranguru, how to make LEGO Pokemon Golisopod, and of course, Wimpod. No tutorial need on that. It is one piece. Literally just a single piece. So first off, Passimian. I really like the build for this, even though the Pokemon itself is incredibly boring and forgetful. In fact, before I went to go and update this for the video, I forgot this Pokemon existed. It's the way it was built for... Having that dynamic posing, I really like the way that came out. Not very much to see with the face, though. Oranguru, another one that I really like the build for. The whole cape thing is made out of paper. So the tutorial that I made on this showed at which point and where to add the paper in. Also, since this was a few years ago, more than a few years ago, I think this was 2017 I made this maybe, the paper crafting was not very accurate. It's pretty messy. Granted, the larger you make something, the messier it's going to get with that. This was such a weird duo where, like, obviously they were designed as a duo, but in gameplay, they just had almost nothing to do with each other. They had no synergy together, they had no like, opposite uses either. There's just nothing really tying them together gameplay-wise. Wimpod! Not a lot to see here. I need to clean my nails. Or at least this one. Focus on Wimpod, please. Focus on Wimpod. Finally. Yeah, so not really much to actually see with Wimpod, though. And Glycopod. So this one had a very interesting build to get it working right. The whole head part is actually not attached to the main part of the body, but it's hung over the body. It's attached on the back instead.
Glycepod is such a really good design. I wish it was just a bit more useful because its ability makes it too niche. Like, if there was better conditions on its ability, then maybe it would have been more useful. Because as it is, it basically cannot set up at all. So if again, so again, if you want to see how to build these, then search for how to make Lego Pokemon, then the name of the Pokemon, and you should find the old videos on how to build them. Old videos that were in much lower quality, but all you really need to see is the pieces and how they go together, so it doesn't matter too much that they're much lower quality. Eventually, one day I'll get around to making updated tutorials on everything so that they can be seen more clearly. But if there's any specific LEGO Pokemon that you want to see made, then see commission info linked in the description. And if you watch to the end, then comment Blossom Dance down below. So, see you next time!